Good day folks, here's another example of the resolution of factor. It's a question paper in fact, it's not an example. Now, let's look at this. It is three forces of magnitude of 470, 447 at an angle of 64. Here's this force at an angle of 64 to the horizontal. This force is to the horizontal. It's between the horizontal and that. And 200 um, to the south. Whereas the 200 is to the south and 400 to the east, respectively. And acting at point O, acting at point. So it's three forces acting at this point O, showing the diagram below. Now, the first question, it says define resultant. Guys, when it comes to resultant, grade 11s, you need to focus on the exam guideline definition. A resultant force is a single force having the same effect as two or more vectors acting together. That's the resultant. I'm not going to waste time on that. Now, question number 2.2. Calculate the following, the vertical component for... Uh, 447 force all right guys let's look at this force the 447 force there are components there there's an fx there in that way and there's an fy there going that way so this question 2.2.1 it wants this component the the vertical component so 2.2.1 so it's going to be fy is equal to f sine theta and then you you force there it's 447 sine what 64 degrees you punch that in the calculator you answer there it will be 401 comma 76 if you punch that in the calculator and where's the direction is what is upwards and since it's two marks since it's two marks that you're going to have mark for that and mark for that right now the question 2.2.2 the horizontal component so it wants this component it wants this component there so um, it's 2.2.2. The formula is fx is equal to f cos theta. So the force there, it's 447 cos what? The angle there is 64 degrees. So the answer, if you punch that in the calculator, the answer there is will be 195 comma nine five newtons and where is the direction is pointing to the left right we're done with those two questions let's go to the 2.2.3 question it says calculate the magnitude of resultant acting at point o which is here um, draw a neat label vector diagram to support so we want the resultant right guys before we calculate the resultant if you're looking at this force 400 it has no vertical component in there so it only has fx only fx is equal to that and it's going to the right so when it comes to fy here the fy is equal to zero and the 200 force that is going to the south this 200 is your fy there and your fx here is equal to zero all the time guys in the x axis there's no fy fy is zero in the y axis there's no fx there very important so they want us to and they want us to do to calculate the magnitude and draw the vector diagram so calculating the magnitude there guys it's very important you must have your fx nets fx net the fx net we get it from the first the fx net it's this one that we calculated plus the 400 and that's it that's the only axis that you have there so it's going to be 
the fx there to the first one is going to be 195 but the 195 which is this one it's going to the left so it's going to be negative 195 comma 95 and then we'll say plus the 400 the 400 is going to the right so it's going to be positive so my fx there my fx there it's going to be 204 comma 05 newtons and it's going where to the right right and my fy there your fy net my fy net i'm adding all the y's the y that i have it's this one plus this one only this one doesn't have y this one doesn't oh this is the y of that so it's only two this and this so it's going to be my y the f this y it's 200 but the, the 200 is what is positive is negative negative 200 and this y and this y is plus 400 because it's going upwards it's 401 comma 76 and the answer there it's going to be it's going to be 201 positive 201 comma 76 newtons and it's going with upwards now they want it um, they wanted me to draw the vector diagram of that. Drawing the vector diagram of that, um, you draw your fx net. Your fx net is going to the um, right. Sorry, it's going to the right, and your fx, your fy, is going upwards. It's a little bit shorter than that one. So this is your fx net and your fy net and then your resultant there you draw it from the tail of the first vector towards the head of the last vector this is your resultant they wanted the resultant and which means all the time when they want the resultant you're going to use the theorem of pythagoras you must calculate the direction as well Remember, there are two ways that we are going to draw this. We can use the tail-to-tail -tail method. Um, this is your fx net, and then your fy net there. And then this is your fy net. And then you, what you can do, your resultant is going to be like that. And then your angle there. And this is your resultant right all right now we want this magnitude we have this resultant these the the f y net and fx net we want the resultant so we'll use the theorem of pythagoras there we'll say f res is equal to the square root of fx net square plus f y net square and then um, we we'll substitute the values your fx net it's 204,05 square plus your y it's 201,76 square and then your answer there it's going to be it's going to be when you punch that in the calculator your answer there it will be 286,96 newtons right um guys you don't have to do the direction now the, the the direction now because they ask it in the next question which is here determine the direction of the resultant vector so which is this is 2.3 all the time the direction guys after you calculated the resultant you use 10 so it's second function 10 theta so it's going to be your fy net divided by your x net and then it's going to be your fy net it's 201 comma 76 it's positive one 
and your y your x net it's 204,05 um, when you punch that all in the calculator it's going to be it's going to be 44,68 degrees